Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Are we all ready? Yeah. Okay. Intro the music. <laughs> Cue the orchestra. <laughs> Cue the orchestra. Right. Oh, I'm so nervous. All right, guys, we're ready to start. Cybertropolis, a city in ruin. The Decepticon city formers, Trypticon and Metro Titan, have unleashed their wrath upon the Cybertronian capital. Try as they might to contain the threat, the Techno-Organic Maximals prove to be no match against the Dark Energon-fueled Titans. Magnaboss and Tripredicus have been lost in battle. The Pax Cybertronia has been dissolved. The Predacons have answered Starscream's call to arms. A new great war has begun. TFCon is proud to present Apocalypse and Chill. So, Starscream's ghost has returned, possessed a city speaker, and has commanded the Titan to rampage across Cybertron. Uh, some things never change. Comrade Bat, let us reunite with our former comrade at arms. Manta Ray, you are in charge until we return. As you command, Ravage. Decepticons forever! <laughs> After them! We can't let them get away! Let them go, Percy. We've got bigger fish to fry. All ground forces spread out from the Citadel and cut off any incoming reinforcements. Sandstorm status report. All flyers within a five micro squad radius are in the air and flying low. We'll use their size to our advantage. Everyone, aim for the legs! A volley blast of spark. A volley of blast strikes at the Titans, but they are unfazed and they continue their attack. <laughs> Incoming transmission from Pipes. No additional city speakers have come forward to help with Metroplex. He's stuck in city mode. Well, that's just prime. <laughs> Metroplex should still be able to transform into battle station mode, even if his T-Cog is out of commission and provide additional cover fire with his superior arsenal, just like he did during the Battle of Autobot City in the year 2005. But was that actually Metroplex? Is Metroplex supposed to be Autobot City itself? Or is he just a component of it? Or is he a separate entity altogether? They never really made it clear. <laughs> You're choosing now to inquire about that? Slag this. I'm going to join the Flyers. Those Titans must have a weak spot. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, but you're grounded, fish stick. Besides, you Maximals are merely delaying the inevitable. The long-awaited return of Air Commander Starscream has only further inspired the already driven Predacons to retake Cybertron once and for all. Rhinox's chain guns of doom strike the ground beneath Ravage and Manta Ray's feet. Oh, please, don't act like Starscream's return was planned all along. The writer of these script readings doesn't have that much forethought. <laughs> Rhinox! Ha! <laughs> they only sent one Maximal for backup. Even though the bulldozer has an impressive arsenal, it won't do him any good when... What the hey? <laughs> Whoever said he came alone? Ah, see! Oh, so, so good to see you, my old friend. My old, I don't mean age, I mean we've known each other a long time. I only wish it was under better circumstances. Will you hold still, Happy Meal? Uh, excellent. With these two in our corner, we just might... Sight guns! <laughs> A large explosion rocks the Citadel, sending everyone crashing to the ground. What was that? Whatever it was, it wasn't from the Titans. Guys, RC took a bad hit. She's about to go into stasis lock. I'll do what I can to get her stabilized. I'll start by reattaching her leg. You get her processor back online. <laughs> Really, everyone? Throwing a parts party without me? How rude. Yes. <laughs> Took you long enough. And you could have used a little more finesse. Megatron, you're behind all of this? 
No, he's just the closer. All of this was a joint effort by the new Predacon Alliance. The Tribredicus Council Commission met... Who wrote this? The tri I know who it was, don't worry. The Tripedicus Council commissioned Metro Titan Tarantula. Good Lord, Harry. <laughs> Bloody words. The Tripedicus Council commissioned Metro Titan Tarantulus' arachnoids constructed it. Slipstream, or rather a recoded wind blade possessed by Starscream, recovered Tryptocon. It's a medical commercial, trust me, it goes somewhere. <laughs> the Cassetacons overtook the Citadel. The first generation Predacons activated the Space Bridge, and I uh, uh, still talk too much. <laughs> <sighs> Maximal buffoon, you'll pay dearly for interrupting one of my patented soliloquies. I don't believe he will, Megatron. Your Megabolt armor might grant you significant shielding against most conventional weaponry, but it will provide you no protection from a bolt delivered by my Tennyson-powered sniper rifle. T Tennyson-powered? <laughs> Grow up, Grandpa Max. <laughs> Don't you, Grandpa Max me. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't you, Grandpa Max me, you son of a glitch. <laughs> Yeah. Come on. Come on. There, she's back online. I am hurt. What the? Nothing to worry about. It's just her brain impulses realigning with her database. That's just silly. Misguided brain impulses made her quote a random transmutate line for no other reason than fan service for the audience? Well, how else did you think we were going to get her in the script? Uh, what hit me? It feels like I got run over by a rain. Don't. <laughs> you took a bad hit from Megatron. We were able to put you back together again and... Without using a CR chamber, I might add. But you need to take it easy. If you take another direct hit, the damage to your superstructure would be catastrophic. We may not be able to properly incorporate your backpack kibble anymore. <laughs> Leaving with you with a random hoverboard while in robot mode. <laughs> or your chest plate will be misaligned, but still be referred to as a <clears throat> masterpiece. Wait, did you say Megatron? Reactivated or no, it still matters not. Yes, for I'm in possession of the ultimate weapon that will eliminate all of you in a matter of nano-clicks. Let me at him. What? Let me at him. Let me at him! Mm. <clears throat> Arcee smashes into Megatrons and they're both crashing to the ground. <laughs> I'll kill you! I'll kill you! I'll rip that stupid beast machine's helmet off your head, ram it down your throat, and then tear your optics out with my bare servos! My, 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 is someone letting their IDW side come out to play? <laughs> ah, see? Ah, see, calm down. Let go of me, Perceptor. Let me go. R.C., uh, listen to me. The, the brawn might not, uh, might top the brain sometimes, but right now, this isn't the case. Not when Megatron is boasting about his latest ultimate weapon. <laughs> Never stopped you before. What is going on, R.C.? Us G1ers have never seen you in such a state of disarray before. Perhaps a, a blockage in your emotions chip is impeding the regulation flow to your old core processor. It's not that at all. It's Daniel. But, uh, R.C., Daniel perished centuries ago. No, no. He and Wheelie are still alive. At least they were. They somehow managed to survive the Nightbird attack and teleport to another universe for safety. They were jumping to random time periods in various universes to try and get back home. 
they arrived in our time period during the 2018 <laughs> Toronto script reading. <laughs> when that blasted, slag, spouting, sorry, and open fire and killed them both. Oh, please. Such dramatics for an act I did not even commit. You killed them. Oh, I did try, yes. But did you examine at the debris field afterwards, hmm? Were there any charred remains of either of them? Components, uh, bone fragments? No, there weren't. They most certainly teleported away before the blast impacted them. Yes. How can you be so certain? I may have PTSD, but I know when I've obliterated something. <laughs> so, so they're still alive? Uh, hello? I'm still here. The Titans attacking the capital should still be your top priority. Could we possibly steer away from the soap opera shenanigans and get back to the A plot? <laughs> oh, my, my apologies, but that lingering plot thread needed to be addressed at some point, and with both myself and Sue Blue in attendance, there was no better opportunity. <laughs> Still me. <clears throat> Regardless, you are correct, Manta Ray. There is still much for the Predacons to do. Raise a claw. Activate the space bridge. Both Trypticon and Metro Titan. That's how you say that, David. <clears throat> Disappear in a flash of light. Well, what, what have you done? Perceptor, I'm getting reports from Symfer. The Titans are there, and they're decimating that city, too. Sandstorm? Already on my way. Maximal fleet, follow me! Ah, such dedication to such a futile endeavor. For now, I cast the final gauntlet. A multitude of explosions rip across the eye and given up on that cybertropolis, yes? Okay, look at that! <laughs> Leaving thick green clouds lingering in their wake. Excellent, yes. What in the name of my great nephew Rat Trap? <laughs> it looks like a new strain of the transformation virus Megatron used to conquer Cybertron. Whatever that substance is, it's airborne and spreading out in every direction at a rapid rate. Given its rate of spread, our position will be contaminated. Ah! Manta Ray's been enveloped. I'll examine her from a distance. Alt mode. Perceptor, maximize. Hmm. I'm afraid this is much, much worse than the transformation virus, Rhinox. Whatever is afflicting Manta Ray appears to be eating away at her T-Cog from the inside out while her innermost energon is co co congealing. All of her primary circuits have shorted out and her spark is extin extinguishing at a rapid rate. What are you seeing, Doc? I'm scrap? It's not just that. Look at all the techno-organic life. It's withering and dying. But if this substance is so lethal, why isn't Megatron retreating? Merely to ensure the virus is effective on the general population. I don't want to take any chances after the Black Arachne debacle Obsidian and Striker reported. Besides, do you think I'd develop such a weapon without taking measures to ensure my own safety? <laughs> I and I alone have the counter-virus coursing through my circuitry. Yes. <laughs> but, Megatron, you said Predacons wouldn't be affected. I did say that, didn't I? Well, however, after some internal processing, I've decided that I'm tired of betrayals, that I'm tired of disloyalty, and that the only way to move forward is to eliminate all who stand against me. This nucleonic masterpiece will exterminate all life on Cybertron, Maximal and Predacon alike, and once every last spark has been extinguished, I will transform Cybertron back to its former technological glory, and then rule as a supreme, singular core consciousness. <laughs> Did you hear that? I said consciousness correctly. Yes! <laughs> Blast ye, Meg, uh, Tron. She's gone. 
sounded like a man to me. <laughs> this is monstrous. Everyone, open fire. Megatron must be stopped, no matter the cost. <sighs> oh no, it's got me to stay back. Worry not, Depth Charge. Your comrades will be joining you soon enough. I don't think so. Hold on, Depth Charge. Aussie, Aussie, no. Don't go near him. That plague is twice more transmissible than cosmic rust and thrice as lethal as fire snow. Wait, what's that RC's got in her hand? <gasps> is that a spark extractor? Where did she get one of those? I boosted it off Megatron when I jumped him earlier. Hold on, Depth Charge. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Yo! Ow. Come on, come on, got him. His spark is inside the extractor, safe and sound. Oh, clever girl. Mm -hmm. But it will avail you not, no. Even with two bots of science at your disposal, you are all nanoclicks away from extermination. Oh, yeah? Well, how about a bot of simplicity, then? What the? Who said that? Hey, down there, hold on tight. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. With a mighty flash, Perceptor, RC, Minerva, and Rhinox vanish. No! Blast it all! Meanwhile... <laughs> Two weeks later... <laughs> Well, excellent work. The short-range space bridge teleporter systems you installed worked like a charm. If there's one thing I know, it's space bridges. I just don't see the... Wait. <laughs> Scrap. Uh, I just don't see why they didn't outfit the Orion with a teleporter after a great war ended. I bet it'd come in real handy on, on away missions. Uh, can, can someone please tell me what the pit just happened? Uh, Calm down, Percy. No, I most certainly will not. In the flicker of an optic, we went from certain doom to... to I, I don't know where this is. I don't know either. However, I can't help but feel an instant connection with this place. It's very cheerful looking. Very animated. Hey, welcome aboard, fellow Autobots. Who are you? Where did you come from? A bunch of us were brought to this universe during the Unicronian War. Once a big and wait, once the big bit of the big bazooka, we decided to stick around and help you guys rebuild your Cybertron. But when those Titans began attacking, we space bridged us back into our universe and got the Orion out of the storage to help us even the odds. Thank you. But why would you do all that for us? Well, being productive is a lot better for us than just sitting around twiddling our servos, waiting for season four to be greenlit. <laughs> so, we're on board a starship? Are you kidding? Well, you're on board one of the best ships in the galaxy. Uh, well, okay, it, it wasn't for a while when its primary defense systems were locked out thanks to Cybertron's energon conserva conservation efforts, or when it crashed into Lake Erie, or uh, when it crashed into a mountainside, or when it kept transwarping around the universe, <laughs> and Megatron and Starscream's uh, severed head and side, or when... Uh, I, uh, I think what my friend here's trying to say is that you're safe inside the Orion. And Cybertropolis? Uh, Teletran 1. Display live feed of Cybertropolis. It's... it's completely covered. The entire city... it's lost. Were you able to transport any more survivors on board? We barely able to get four of you... Oh, get you four. Five. Depth Charge's body might be gone, but his spark is still burning. Teletran is showing only one active energy signature within the entire city. But why would that former purple dinosaur teleport the Titans away if I, he wanted to eventually want... Wait. 
away if he wants to eventually wants to return them to contaminated scrap iron too. To show a show of force. He likely has more of the virus stockpiled, but it isn't ready to be released just yet. He needs the Titans to eliminate as much as they can beforehand. So when he is ready, he can carry out his plan without significant resistance. We cannot allow that to happen. If Minerva and I can safely obtain a sample of the virus, we can analyze it and attempt to synthesize a counteracting agent. If you bots can get me to Optimus Primal, I'll fill him in on Megatron's plans and help lead the charge against the Titans with my chain guns of doom. I'll go with you, Rhinox. Our ground forces need all the help they can get. That's where we come in. This is more than just a spaceship. It's the Autobot that won the Great War back home. He's right. Omega Supreme's more than capable of taking on those Titans. Optimus, to Ratchet. Take the ship out of orbit. It's time for us to join the battle. Uh, if you want, uh, I can take your friends into the extractor up to the bridge. I, it'll be the safest place for them during the battle. And the doc bot can, get, uh, can give them give them a once over when he has a nano to spare. I appreciate that. Um, sorry, I don't think we've exchanged names yet. Ugh, I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, oh, just call me Bug Bulkhead. It's a pleasure. I'm RC. My designation is Perceptor. Rhinox. Call me Minerva. Uh, Minerva. And my name is Optimus Prime. Autobots, transform and roll out. And let's everyone give a round of applause to both our guests, Andy, Sue, Paul, David, Kat, our stand in narrator, and everybody else who auditioned, ladies and gentlemen. And that is the end of the live script reads, guys. Thank you very much for coming. Thanks, Thanks guys. Oh, good job. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's going to record this. You're going to record this? It's going to go viral. Are we going to be on TV?